In case you guys missed it, Draymond Green got ejected last night in a must-win game for the Golden State Warriors versus the Orlando Magic. Thankfully, Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, and the rest of the squad pulled it out 101 to a 93 win. But I want to ask about Draymond Green's ejection first. Type your one-word reaction to seeing Draymond Green get thrown out of the ball game yet again. My one-word reaction is, come on. And when I type it out, I'm putting C apostrophe M O N. Come on, man. Not now. Not ever. Stop doing this. We're going to talk about that today on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. We're also going to talk about Steph Curry and some of the Houston Rockets are calling out the Golden State Warriors. So stay tuned. Let's get it started. What's going on, Dub Nation? I am Ali Barefoot, and the Golden State Warriors are 2 and 0. Oh. In the last two games, they are still in the win column after crushing the Miami Heat and then having a back to back game and beating the Orlando Magic without Jonathan Kuminga or Draymond Green. However, only one of those players was originally ruled out before the game started. The other one ran his mouth and got himself ejected. So let's break down exactly what had happened. Just in case you guys did miss the game last night, the pregame came out, the injury report, which we did have Trace Jackson Davis come back. To the Warriors starting lineup, he played the five spot, which I completely agreed with. Wendell Carter Jr. standing about six foot ten. You needed Trace Jackson Davis's height. He did not get the scoring from Jonathan Kaminga that you've been relying on night in and night out. Well, less than four minutes into the ball game, Draymond Green did exactly what he always does. He didn't shut up and got thrown out of the ball game. But here's the good part: the Warriors rallied. Thanks to a late game, Steph Curry, a night night that went from baseline to baseline with 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter, happened to make the final score 101 to 93, a win over the Orlando Magic. Let's break down what happened, really, because I want you guys to comment down below what you thought about Draymond Green's ejection here, because this was the scene that started everything. You see Curry's hand on his stomach, like, come on, man, don't do this, man. We need you, man. And he keeps talking. You can't do that, especially when the referees came out with their report after the game, and this is how he got ejected. He got two technicals pretty much back-to-back, -back, and it's every NBA rule. If you get two techs, you're out. That's how the ejection happened. So no, it wasn't one of those stomping on a guy's chest or flailing his elbow into the neck of a player. This one was a little bit more tame, believe it or not. The first one, he touched Ray Acosta. He just pushed him on the shoulder. You can't touch the ref, man. You cannot touch the ref. That's an immediate technical. Then, this was the actual word-for-word -word report, prolong diatribe, which basically means verbally being aggressive to the referee. That was probably not the right thing to do, but Green was arguing for 42 seconds. I counted from the first moment he looked at Ray Acosta to the last moment where his back was turned and he was walking out or the Orlando Magic Arena 42 seconds of an argument. Did you not think that it takes one second to walk away and you're not ejected? You just have one technical? I get it. People get frustrated in a game. But A, it's 6-6 six to six during that point of the game. Two, you weren't even involved in the play. It was a foul called on Andrew Wiggins. And three, 42 seconds worth of making a point. There is nothing in that ball game that is worth 45 seconds of argumenting at that point in the ballgame. He just used profane language as he was walking away from Ray Acosta, which you just can't do. And Draymond Green even said what was going on in his mind before he got ejected from the ballgame. And he said, look, it just can't happen. I said what I said. I deserve to be kicked out at that point. Kind of wish I would have turned my body and angled it and gone to the bench. But yeah, it just can't happen. And you do see Draymond Green kind of turning away, but you also see his head looking over his shoulder, still running his mouth, still having things to say to Acosta when it just doesn't matter at that point. Because what did you do, Draymond Green? You put this emotional burden on Steph Curry's shoulders and pretty much just gave him a pat on the back saying, sorry, bud, you're going to have to do this one on your own. Steph Curry was emotionally distraught by this. You all have been so angry before and so frustrated, whether it's in a game, in an argument, or just in life. When you get so frustrated, you have no other emotion but to cry. That's what I saw personally from Steph Curry. When he's just like clapping, snapping himself out of it, just like, man, come on, we got to win this game. And now it's a lot on me. 
We're going to break down Steph Curry's response in just a few moments, but I do want to make sure you guys know about Prize Picks, our sponsor here on Warriors Today by Chat Sports, the number one daily fantasy sports app that you guys should be playing right now because it's extremely easy to use. I used this way before they were a sponsor here because it's just so much fun to play. All you have to do is pick between two to six players and just pick more or less on a player's projected stats, and you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. Plus, right now, it is opening day. MLB is finally back. They have numerous categories you can choose from. NBA, college basketball, men and women's, MLB, NFL when that season rolls around. So I'm really focused on the MLB today because right now you can opt in for a $20 entry win or get your money back. So that's like music to my ears. So, of course, I'm going to have Corey having more than half a home run. That's a demon. That's a harder pick, but it pays a lot more, and I want to see some home runs hit today. And then I do have Garcia having more than one and a half hits, rebound, rebounds, RBIs, and runs. I'm obviously still in the basketball mentality. And then you got Bregman having less than one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. All you guys got to do is go to prizefix.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up $200. There's quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types. That's what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Pick more, pick less. It is that easy. I want to point out a quote that really stood out to me from Tim Legler on ESPN saying, It was incredibly selfish, inexcusable, and I'm tired of prefacing these moments by saying everything he's done for the organization. I'm not going to do that anymore. This team is hanging by a rope over a cliff right now, and they desperately want to get in. More than Steve Kerr, more than anybody in the franchise, you owe it to Steph Curry to be out there on that night. I loved what Tim Legler said because that's where I saw a lot of the emotion coming from Steph Curry is that he is the best teammate you could possibly have on the Golden State Warriors franchise, and Draymond Green has let him down numerous times. He's also helped him. On many occasions, but that's what Legler's talking about. I'm not talking about what he's done the last decade. I'm talking about what he's still doing every single season, hurting his team in must-win situations. And Curry, we've seen joyful Curry. We've seen happy Curry. We've seen, I just dropped a three-pointer Curry. But we very rarely see the angry, crying, and emotional one. And when that gets pushed to that point, I think it speaks volumes and that Curry is holding a lot inside, trying to help this team win in a very struggling season that makes me wonder what this means for the big three moving forward. But Steph Curry, he could have easily blamed this on Draymond after the game. He could have easily said, this was horrible, I had to do it all myself, but that's not who Curry is. He actually said after the game, look, all I'm going to say is that we need him. And he knows that. We all know that. So whatever it takes for him to be on the floor and available, that's what's got to happen. He's not injured. Nothing's wrong with him. He missed 28 days of the NBA season to get help, to have emotional support, to figure out what's going on, and he's still hurting the team. This comes just games after he got into a scuffle with Desmond Bain and pushed Taylor Jenkins to the ground. There's still definitely some things there, but I do want to ask you guys one question, focusing more so around the Splash Brother. Why do you think Steph Curry was crying? I saw numerous reasons on Twitter. One person said that it's because he's had to watch Draymond Green sabotage his career over the last decade. I don't know if I agree with that. I think it's just more so he's a competitor, very mama mentality-like. So I want to know why you guys think Dr Stephon Curry was crying after Draymond Green got ejected. Type that down below. And let me go ahead and transition to what really matters here, and that's the playoffs. So, as of right now, the Warriors are still one game ahead of the Houston Rockets in the playoffs. The Rockets are on a 10-game win streak. They did just beat the Blazers, I believe. Maybe the Raptors. I don't exactly remember their schedule, but the Warriors also are on a two-game win streak right now. So, they're fighting, and they're fighting for when it actually matters. They're trying to keep that playing. And what's getting really interesting is that the Warriors and the Rockets play next Thursday, and it's getting very chippy leading up to that game. The Houston Rockets are damn near calling out the Warriors now after every win that they have, pretty much egging them on saying, come see us, let's play, and let's finally solve this series. Tari Eason is the person that recently spoke out. Tari Eason, I want to remind you, who's not playing right now. He's sidelined for the rest of the season, so he's got a lot of room to talk. 
Tori Easton put this on his Instagram story. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly suggest go checking it out. It's actually pretty pretty funny. But basically, he's in there saying, Warriors, come out to play. Warriors, come out to play. And then he ends it with, yeah, it's like that. Okay, Tari Eason. Okay, because you guys are still one game behind the Warriors. So in reality, the Warriors still have the upper hand here. But it's all going to come down to these last nine games in the regular season. And if Draymond Green can keep his composure, I love what I'm seeing from Steph Curry and Andrew Wiggins, and especially Moses Moody, who came off the bench last night for Draymond Green. I am enjoying this Warriors tenacity, these Warriors aggression in these last nine games. They're not giving up, and I see it coming out in these few games left. So the Rockets, I want to talk about their game coming up next Thursday. That's going to matter so much because if they lose and the Rockets win, that's one game that you could possibly now be behind the Houston Rockets in 11th place and you no longer make the postseason. So Thursday, April 4th, 5 p.m. Pacific time. The only problem is that it's in Houston. It's not going to be a home game, which is going to be a little bit tough. But the good news is they've already beaten them twice this season. They're going for the sweep three games in a row in a time that is extremely crucial. And the best part is we're going to be live on Thursday. Warriors Day by Chat Sports. Come hang out with us. I'm going to give you guys play-by-play, -play, a breakdown of the game. We're going to be drinking. We're going to be having a good time. We don't go live that often, but if you guys do want us to go live, hit that sub button, like this video, and we'll go live for every single playoff game. So I want you guys to clap back to Tari Easton right now. Go ahead and spam your Warriors down in the comment section right now because I know Tari Easton likes to run his mouth on social media, which means he's probably on YouTube looking up all the trash that he can find. And I hope that he comes across Warriors today by Chat Sports and sees all the Warriors in the comment section. So all you guys got to do is spam your Warriors and like this video.